Okay, so now I'm going to do a solution of a common problem we see a lot in fluids, asking what the pressure is at the bottom of a vessel. So the vessel we picked was actually the swimming pool at the rec center. And rounding the numbers a little bit, we said it's one meter deep in the shallow end and two meter deep in the deep end. Okay, so the question was find the pressure at the bottom of the deep end and at the bottom of the shallow end. So the first thing we need then is hydrostatic equilibrium. So we imagine a little slab and we have some pressure at the top and some pressure at the bottom that must be more than the pressure at the top. And the reason is that the net force has to be the difference between those two pressures times the area of the slab and gravity. And if it's not going anywhere, that's what we mean by equilibrium, it has to be zero. So if we write the mass of a little slab as rho times V or rho A times the little height of the slab, what we're left with is hydrostatic equilibrium, which is that delta P delta Y is equal to rho G into the fluid. Okay, so if we let the pressure be something at the top, say one atmosphere, about 10 to the 5 kilopascals, um, then we can say that the pressure at the bottom is equal to the pressure at the top plus rho g delta y. So if this is 10 to the 5, oh, sorry, not kilopascals, pascals, there we go, um, plus, let's see, rho is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, g is 10 meters per second squared, delta y. So if delta y is, so if delta y is one meter, the pressure at the bottom is, let's see, 10 to the five, so this is 10 to the one, two, three, four. So that's um, about, let's call it 1.1 times 10 to the five pascals. If it's two meters, then it's 1.2 times 10 to the five pascals. And of course, the reason why you often use some protection if you're going down, say, 10 meters down into the ocean, um, that's quite a bit of pressure. In fact, that's twice 2 times 10 to the 5 pascals, or 2 atmospheres. Okay, and we're done.